Welcome back, guys. As you can see, I have my video assistant, Mr. Glock, here, and he's as enthusiastic as always uh, to be in the video today. Looks like actually he just nodded off on me. Anyway, um, so subject to today's video, I hinted at this a while back, was is this little beauty right here. So this is the uh, Smith & Wesson 686 Plus. This is the Talo edition. I believe is how you say it anyway, T-A-L-O. And as you can see, it has these non-fluted cylinders, and it is a... A seven round, three seven magnum revolver with the five inch barrel. Now, a uh, couple things I'm looking for in this video from you guys is uh, number one, holster uh, makers. You guys, I posted this up a while back, um, a few weeks ago. What, who makes a holster for this? Obviously, it's a five inch variant, so that's kind of odd, at least when I was looking around. And a lot of you guys wrote suggestions in, but te but a lot of them I didn't know who they were. And even with Google, I had no idea who they were. So if they have a Facebook page, tag them in there anyway, uh, so I can see exactly who you guys are talking about. But I'm thinking of getting a leather rig, probably outside the waistband, obviously, because it's a big old steel framed gun. Um, and it's just sweet. There's something about revolvers, particularly in 367 Magnum, that are cool. Uh, this revolver certainly has all of that. Additionally, for grips, um, I'm going to replace these grips. These are the special Talo Edition grips. And uh, I actually didn't like them when I was looking at them online, but knew that they would be easily replaced. And I really don't like them now that I have them in person. Uh, if you can look, you guys can see they're really, really thin. And I have pretty large hands, as most of you guys know. And they just don't fit my hand well at all. Like, I can just completely go around them. Um, and it's not comfortable at all, uh, not even a little bit. So I want to replace the grips. I'm thinking Hogue or VZ. I tend to like the G10 material, but I'm open to wood because I think kind of like some maybe some rosewood would look really good on this particular revolver uh, just due to all stainless finish and just it's kind of got classic looks and classic lines to it. But uh, if you guys got ideas, let me know. Um, that's pretty much it. Just kind of wanted to show off the new addition to the family and uh, get some input as to what you guys think we should go with. I'm not obviously the biggest revolver guy out there, so I'm not the most educated on it. I do have quite a few revolvers, however. Um, but yeah, looking for a holster suggestion. Again, tag them down below so I can figure out who you guys are talking about because earlier you guys were mentioning a lot of holster makers that I have no idea who they were and even couldn't find them with a Google search. So uh, Yep, that, and then the grips. Again, I'm thinking G10 material, maybe the easier hogue, but open to wood. So let me know what you think down below, and we'll grab our video assistant here, Mr. Glock. Make sure we wake him up. Look at Adam. He's like, why are you waking me up, Daddy? I'm in the middle of a good nap. All right, we're going to sign off, and uh, see you guys in the next video.